it's Safar and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the drawings that I did for the third week of Inktober. Yep, that's right, I'm still going strong or whatever. I mean, I'm trying my best. But really, I don't think it's been that hard to do Inktober this year. I was When I was starting, I was kind of, oh, I have to do 31 drawings. But now we're at day 24. And I'm like, oh wow, where did all of the days go? I only have seven, no, nine, no, not numbers. Um, I have eight, yes, haha, <laughs> math. I have eight more pieces to do. And I've been having a lot of fun with Inktober this year. I, I also had a lot of fun with it last year. I just think it's it's fun. And it's something that's very different from what I normally do, so. It's nice to do other things once in a while. I didn't really know what to do for this drawing. <laughs> How many times have I said that during this October? Um, but I finally decided that I wanted to do someone dancing. So I found a post that I kind of referenced and then I drew this girl and this guy dancing together and the guy was really ugly and the girl was, she was kind of cute. Um, so I erased the guy multiple times before deciding, hey, what if it's just two girls dancing? That would be really cute. And I'm glad I did that because the the blue girl, um, yeah, I don't know if we're there yet, but the other girl's gonna be blue. Uh, but yeah, I think she turned out so cute and I love her so much. And they're so cute together. Ah, this is uh, so cute. I feel kind of weird saying that about my own art, but you guys have been telling me to be less negative and to not bash my art as much as I do. So I'm gonna try my best to be positive. Yeah. Because I, I like positivity. We, we've been over this. Let's move on. For day 19, I really wanted to draw a vampire. And then I remembered that Adventure Time was a thing. <laughs> so I figured, oh my god, I could draw Marceline the Vampire Queen because she's awesome and I love her. I sketched out some, a couple maybe uh, of different poses for her. And I was kind of having trouble with the framing of the page, which is a thing I noticed that I have trouble with a lot in these Inktober drawings. But yeah, I wanted to have her floating and holding the guitar in one hand, but it just, there wasn't really enough space for me to do that. Or the, the framing was kind of weird for that, I guess. But then I settled for this, which is more just, she's just like floating right side up in the air. And I'm glad I did because when I finished the sketch, there was just something about it that I just really liked. I looked at it and I was like, this looks good. I like it. And I I know some things about composition, but I don't always remember to follow them. And right now we were learning about good gestures in school. Um, but I'm very bad at implementing those things in my drawings. And this doesn't really follow any of the rules for good gestures or composition, but for some reason I think it, it, it works. So yeah, this one turned out pretty good. And honestly, I think it's my favorite out of the Inktober drawings I've done for this year. Also, of the Inktober drawings I did last year. This is my all-time favorite Inktober drawing, maybe, I think. For day 20, I was at home or I was visiting my parents. I guess it's not my home anymore. Uh, so sad. It, it'll always be my home in my heart. But I was visiting my parents, uh, so I had to film on the floor. And I was so tired. So I just drew my face, <laughs> my tiny smiley TB face. And I put it in a circle. And you know what? Sometimes if you're not up to do Inktober, not up for drawing that day, you can just do something really simple. 
you don't have to do 31 amazing illustrations. You just have to do 31 illustrations. So I I think it's okay to do something simple sometimes. Oh, and also, by the way, some of you may have noticed that I wrote day 20 on the Marceline one. Uh, whoops, I messed up. So I wrote day 19 on this one, just so I wouldn't have two day 20s. Um, yeah, but they are drawn on the on the actual day, so this one is 20 and the Marceline one is 19. I'm just a big dumb goofball sometimes. I'm actually surprised that this didn't happen last year, because I constantly write the wrong f thing. Mostly numbers. I constantly write the wrong numbers on things. <sighs> but yeah, it was... It was meant to happen. It, it had to happen one day, and it did, so... This next one was also filmed at my parents' place, and I think that this was the day that we went to the zoo. And when I got home, I was just so tired. I don't know what happened, but the entire weekend when I was visiting my parents, I was just super super tired and I just didn't want to do anything besides lay in my bed. I didn't really get to do it that much, lay in my bed. And also I don't have a bed at my parents place so I just have a mattress on the floor that's really uncomfortable. So I was just really really tired. Um, and again I drew something really simple. So I drew this, this kitty and he's lying on his back and he's like <laughs> I oh, I can't even say the sound, but he's like he's like saying mew, but he's also saying meh because he's really tired. And uh, I forgot that I didn't have my white gel pen with me, so I just colored in everything, and then I was like, oh wait, I made a mistake. Um, but then I went in and added the details with the white gel pen when I got to my apartment. Over the weekend, I also got a haircut. So day 22 is a drawing of me with my new haircut. It's really short now, and I'm not sure I like it this short. I mean, it's really nice uh, to have short hair, but I'm not sure I like the way it looks. You'll see in the subscriber art show that's going up. I think I'm gonna put that up this Friday, if I can get the video done, uh, but you'll see then. Uh, but yeah, it just really needed to be cut because it's really damaged. So I think it was it was good. It's happy now. My hair is saying thank you, Sophie, for not letting me be gross and damaged. Oh well, for uh, for getting rid of the part that was damaged. You know what I mean. And a thing that I've started doing, I think maybe this was when I kind of decided to do that is. To make the necks of my characters longer again, because I used to do really long necks, and then I kind of strayed away from that because people would always say, "Why is the neck so long on that character? It looks unnatural. It's it's gonna break off with that big head." But you know what? I don't care. It's my character. They can have long necks if they want to. But after I did the Halen drawing, the the girl with the goggles and the purple and and teal colors. I realized that it looks really cool, or at least I think it looks really cool, when characters have long necks, so I think I'm gonna try to do that more. Ayo, here's another character with a long neck. Um, yeah, for day 23 I decided to follow the prompt, because it wasn't a bad prompt this time. Uh, usually I don't follow the prompts because I find them very uninspiring. I mean, swift. What are you gonna draw for the word swift? I mean, I guess it works for some people, but for the way that I like to draw and my style and the way I like to think about stuff, those kind of prompts don't, don't really work. They don't really inspire me. But some of them, when I look at them, they give me ideas. Um, so for this juicy prompt. I was thinking, oh, I wanna, I really wanna do a vampire drinking some blood, but I don't wanna do, uh, you know, the classical, I'm gonna bite your neck, rah! 
Um, so I gave her a cup or a glass with blood in it, and he's sipping the juicy blood. <laughs> I'm so classy. <laughs> So yeah, this is kind of a, a vampire uh, enjoying, in air quotes, the sun. You see, she's she's wearing a hat because sunlight hurts her, but she's out in the sun. I, I think it's funny. It's heavily inspired by Marceline's hat. Uh, yeah, but I I like this one too. Okay, so for day 24, I decided that I'm on a roll. I'm gonna do two prompts in a row. What? So the prompt for today was blind. And I wanted to draw a blind girl. So yeah, I drew this girl and she's holding up her hands. Like she's, oh, where am I? She's kind of trying to, um, I don't know what she's trying to do, but she can't see anything because she's blind. And originally I was thinking about doing really cool effects with her eyes or something glowing behind her or powers in her hands uh, that I wanted to do in teal. <laughs> but then I realized that would mean that I would have to color everything in dark so I could have the light shining through. So yeah, I, I didn't want to do that. That's too much work, too much. Um, pigment wasted or alcohol too much ink wasted so then I thought I can just take uh, a teal marker and do the outline in teal and that's gonna be fun so I did and I really like the result I also went in with a light teal Copic marker to add some shading and stuff and I think it turned out really cool the pose isn't the best for this one, but I think that that the way I drew it, you know, the way I did the actual inking part turned out really cool. And that's about it for this video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my week three of Inktober and that you're still excited to see more Inktober because I'm gonna do more. And I also hope that you guys are having a fun time doing Inktober and that you're keeping up and that everything is going according to plan. Please, uh, please tell me in the comments down below how your Inktober is doing. But aside from that, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you later.